Hey everybody, welcome back. Dan John here. Uh, today I'm in the garage uh, because it's uh, I have to because stuff's going on in my house. It is absolutely freezing here in Utah on January 4th, I think. Uh, had a busy schedule today. It's sad to think that uh, when you're a strength coach, uh, you have a busier schedule than the uh, leader of the free world, but uh, I actually have more things on my to-do list than uh, the person on Pennsylvania Avenue. So that's kind of odd. It's odd when I start my day. So here we go. Uh, again, my um, my first reps will be my warm-ups. The crappy thing about today's workout is when I finish the 500 swings, Mike and Seth and Mike are going to show up and I have to work out after that. So I think I might be tired today. So let's get going on this, okay? Let's begin. As we always do, a reminder, the gloves are because of uh, the freezing, not because I'm hand. Well, you, you know. Ooh! gets a little better. This is day four and uh, on day one tens were bugging me. I just did a set of 40 there and uh, you know I don't know why I have to even explain this but well I have to because it's 2021 and no offense people don't try to do things anymore they just they want all the answers thrown in a bowl for them but when I first did my first swing, day one of 10, day one, rep one of 10,000 swings, my technique sucked because I hadn't done swings in three years, uh, injuries and stuff like that. As I go through this thing, my swings will become smoother and smoother and smoother. My techniques will be better and I'll, and I'll get weirdly stronger, like in my butt, lower back, forearms. And my forearms were barking last night. And good morning to all these nice people. Thanks for the thumbs up. If you're joining me, I'm sorry for being late. Uh, I had to do a podcast and I had to work. For those who come in late, the gloves are because I'm in my gym and it is literally below freezing. So, oh, but the sun's coming up. The downside of the sun coming up in Utah means it gets colder. So, all right. Good morning, all. Uh, let's kick this thing's ass. 40 down. Oh, Look who's here. Mr. Black is gonna join us. He is not pleased with Daddy right now because he's outside. He'd rather be in front of the fireplace. Huh. What was that? Oh, no, no, we're live right now. Can you? Yeah, you're very you're becoming very famous. Oh because he's famous, he wants more money. You know? Hey. You gotta scoop. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Good boy. No, no, you gotta continue to scoop. There you go. Yeah, that's man's best friend.
Nice. Nice. 80. That'll be nice. If I can keep up 40s. I have my doubts I'll be able to keep up to 40s. Uh, but I'll do my best for you today. That is the sun. Uh, welcome. Uh, I don't mind answering questions between sets. Just try not to answer st ask stupid questions. Uh, a stupid question is anything that relates to Turkish get-ups, burpees, lunges, uh, other people's programs, or yeah, today I got a comment on my uh, got a comment on my YouTube. Account. So I talked about somebody asked me about Turkish get-ups. Of course, it's always Turkish get-ups. And uh, the person said, in the thing, I, was I wanted a segue about uh, bent press. And I said, you know, nobody does bent presses. Well, the person who obviously didn't listen said, I'm a BJJ guy. The most, someone sort of thought through those letters before they made it public. Uh, I'm a BJJ guy. A sentence I would never say. And we do them all the time. Yeah. You do Turkish get-ups. I was talking about the bent press, you know? <sighs> Maybe that's why I was such a good student. I actually paid attention and didn't just automatically take things personally. Or... Oh, wait, here I am taking things personally. Okay, we're at 80. We're at two sets and we're at 80. Miracle, I tell you. Oh, I got a whole bunch of happy faces from Michael Lau. Lau? I can't read those things. But this is much better than it was yesterday. At least I could read them. I couldn't yesterday. So that thing hitting me right about here, that's called the sun. And it's nice to see it today. So Because we don't usually get it in Utah. Uh, our, our governor doesn't allow it. Uh, uh, this is my dog, Sirius Black. He, if you can see him. He uh, usually doesn't train with me. But uh, whenever it's inconvenient, he likes to sit on my kettlebell or get in the way of my swings. Because, you know, that's what you do when you're a dog. But he's a good dog. Ideally, he won't start licking himself inappropriately as we're, we're doing this, but I can almost guarantee he will. I did 30 that time. It's fine. Whew. Hardest thing to explain on this is that the goal is 10,000 swings. I prefer you do it a certain way, but no one cares. Uh, good morning, all. Again, if you have questions, feel free to ask. Uh, just remember, it is international, so, you know. I don't know where that was going. Uh, if you guys like, I'll, I'll give you a tour of the gym. Just uh, just ask. According to Men's Health, this is America's top gym. And I agree. I set my gym up like a teaching hospital. So Mike Warren Brown and I have been doing this for years where we keep doing experiments and experiments. If you have an issue, we'll come in and try to fix it. Sometimes it takes me a while to come up with a good answer. But if you go to my YouTube videos, you know, some of the things like windmill sticks and, oh, uh, the, uh, the magic drill and the exercise with the overhead squats. It, when I teach it, it looks so easy, but it took months to put it together. So I hope that helps. And I, hope, I hope I make a difference. Yes, we would like a tour of your gym. Yes, we'll see the gym. 
All right, you begged away enough. Let me get my next set of swings in and then tour the gym. It'll take about four or five hours. So sit comfortable. What are your essential home gym things? Whatever you have is what you have. You know, I'm not going to tell you to buy this or that, but you could probably, can you see this resistance band here? This is a very cheap, uh, one of those stretchy bands, you know? So this can become a TRX. This can become by itself a, a clean and press station. You can squat with it, uh, a broomstick, uh, any kind of weight, <laughs> including a child. If you have the will, you can figure out how to get a good workout, okay? Uh, my gym is a little over the top, and I'll show you in just a minute. Let's get these swings in. people show up. So I'm kind of pushing. Not really pushing, I'm just doing what I gotta do. Okay, so here's this. Hey, agree back to your coffee. So let's, uh, we'll just go this way. So this is my favorite, one of my favorite parts of the gym. This is my little hall of fame. That's my coach. Can you see that okay? Can you see that? Yeah, okay, that's my coach, Coach Mon. My brother, Philip. My high school coach. My father-in-law, a great friend, a great friend, great friend, a great friend. If any of you are from Ireland and you've ever heard of Semple Stadium, this is Father James Semple. His dad is what Semple Stadium is named after, and he baptized my wife. Uh, family friend, my cousin, family friend. So I'm a big believer in gyms. How do we figure out what weight we should use for the first shot? Use... Gallo Pinto squat. I love you. Yeah, you, I would say if you're a man, use a 24. If you're a woman, use a 16 or 12. I mean, if you can't do that, well, go lighter. If that's too light, go heavier. I would say a 24, but you know what the hell I know. Okay, before we go, go. Oh, on my last hunting excursion, I'll show you what I killed. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Can you guys see that? Yeah. I'm very proud of that. I'll have moose meat for years from that thing. Uh, Liz, you know, you can certainly do it, uh, go heavier if you like, and good for you, but, you know, if you fail miserably, uh, don't, don't, don't yell at me, okay? One thing before we go, uh, yeah, this will be an interesting thing for you guys to know. This, I got this trophy here, now, look how big this thing is, can you see that? See how big that trophy is? I got that for the athlete of the day at a regional... Uh, uh, Highland game. This is what I got for winning the largest Highland games in the world. You know? There's a moment there, huh? Uh, my daughter's gold medal for winning the state is maybe that big. <laughs> okay. Come back to Ireland. Yeah, I want it, man. It's not my fault. Uh, you know who I blame. It's not me. Okay, I gotta get back to swings and I'll show you the next part in a minute, okay? You guys having fun with this? Uh, let's kick this thing's ass, okay? Okay. One thing you'll find when you start doing the 10,000 swing challenge is it starts off like this, gets easy for, okay, this is the pain. Pain in the butt, easier, 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 and then it turns on week three. Week three sucks. And if you have the courage to make it to week four, week four is just like, oh God, whatever, let me do it.
Let's have 30. We had a tactical error last night. We had Mike and Seth come over. So I made spaghetti. Boy, it just makes me fat. You have done. Oh, thank you. I can't read who said that, but I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, thank you. So these are the Highland Game implements 56 pound weight, 28 pound weight. The heavy hammer, an Olympic hammer, a female Olympic hammer, light hammer, turbo javelins. This is a cool thing. This is the trig we use for Highland Games. But at my daughter's wedding, we had a Highland Games. Our family tradition is to have a Highland Game at weddings. And if you, every so often I'll post that video of me flipping the caber at Lindsay and Thomas's wedding. What's cool about it was six months after a total hip replacement. And my doctor has used that to show his patients what you can do. Well, you know, what you can do, you just give a shit, you know. Uh, I, I'm here to uh, dance at my granddaughter Josephine's wedding. And now I got little Leo on the way. And I wanna be around for a while, okay? So that's why you get up when it's below freezing and swing in a garage, I think. So as soon as I, I think on this next round, I might get to 200 reps. So that'd be kind of fun. Uh, let me see. Okay, one thing you'll notice in the gym, I ask people to leave something, okay? Uh, in about a minute or two, I'm gonna tell you to take a picture of something, okay? Uh, so this is from my athletes at Westminster. That's the hammer of Thor. This is from a major league baseball player. Uh, this basically means for these guys, uh, no bullshit. I'm a no bullshit guy. And that, if you train with me, you'd understand that. This is from Michigan. Back when they were a good football team, when I helped before they hired a new guy. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Okay, let's get those, let's get those swings in. If you're enjoying this the tour, uh, generally, by the way, I'm giving the cheap tour. The expensive one is a little more. Uh, for those of you in Ireland, it's, uh, I'll tell you the price in euros. For those of you in England, I'll tell you the price in pounds. I am crushing the numbers today. That's a good sign. I'm uh, trying to do some serious changes, you know, during this challenge. Here's the toughest one. No booze. No booze. Uh, okay. Uh, over here, this is kind of a cool thing. This is my daughter Lindsay in high school. Her coach is me, and that's her throwing a personal record. That's just kind of a fun series. The world's best university. A friend of mine gave this to me. That was a lot of fun that weekend. This is a good friend of mine. She's on, her name's Susie Powell, one of America's best discus throwers. I helped her in the last years of her career. I wish I could have helped her more actually. She's a great lady. Uh, I joke sometimes, this is me when I was a young. <laughs> uh, he later became the coach of the uh, Chicago Bears, one of the great uh, coaches. Now, so this is winning the California State Championships. That's my name. So my mom asked me, uh, so 
I was going off to the state championships and it was mother Mother's Day weekend and my mom says that I go to my mom hey I'm gone what do you want what do you want for a Mother's Day present she goes state championship I said uh, you know this is California this isn't like you know Iowa or Utah and uh, there's the plaque for winning I uh, when my mom and dad went to the great beyond uh, I, I, I took it back so there's about three or four things in my life that really mean a lot to me you know stuff I want to keep that would be one of them mostly because of the story the other one would be this trophy here uh, and if you read my books this is the St. Veronica 67 trophy I, where, the, where that young man helped me and changed my life and uh, Mike Brown knows that uh, on my uh, you know, when it's time to put me to my eternal rest, this is something I want with me. Okay? That was morbid. Coach Swing's looking super. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice story. Hi. Ah, you appreciate it. Thanks. Do you guys want more stories? I'll tell you a story about every gosh darn thing in here. So... I got about... Uh, 35 minutes to get, whoa, who put that there? Uh, 300 swings in, so that's going to suck. Man, why'd it go out? <sighs> Sorry, YouTubers. I have to, something bad just happened to my phone. My phone just went down. Hey, sorry about that technical error. Uh, my phone died. Uh, and it's funny because, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm an idiot. Uh, so we're at 230 swings. We won't be Instagram Live anymore. But I'll keep showing you the gym if that's okay. You know, gives me a chance to talk. Uh, the guy on the wall is Clyde Emmerich. Somebody asked that just before I, I walked off. This picture here, uh, if you can see it, that one, the State of Utah Sports Photograph of the Year. And this one was taken by my my uh, teammate when I was at Utah State. That's my junior, that's my senior. Uh, kind of cool. This is Steve Ilg, one of the great minds in, in strength and conditioning. There's a funny story about these three pictures. Uh, so I got hit in the head with the discus right before these pictures were taken. And when I came back to 
compete again. They did a big story on me. So my sister sent me these pictures a couple years back, and the funny thing is, uh, I, I don't remember anymore because <laughs> I had a massive concussion, and so this is a, it's a sad story. I made a lot of bad decisions with a concussion. Oof. But hey, I made it okay. Uh, this is kind of a cool thing. I bought something through eBay, and this guy sent me this nice little note on it, and you know, that's kind of why I love my job. It's really, that's why I love what I do. Makes a difference sometimes. Hey, I don't know where to look on this. Do I look over here? Where do I look? Where do I? Yeah, there I go. Okay, whatever. More swings, and then uh, you can screenshot this next thing I show. It's kind of cool. It's anonymous, but it's kind of cool. The only time I've ever liked anything from anonymous. Okay, let's do this. to me years ago. I don't know how well you can see it, but uh, it's kind of my, uh, I don't know, how am I doing there? Can you see that? All I ever needed to know, I learned from Dan John. Most of, most of what I really need to know about to lift and what to do and how to live, I learned from Dan John. Wisdom was not in school or on the internet, but there at the Murray Institute for Lifelong Fitness with the bar over my head. I'll tell you, I'll read that to you, okay? But first, we swing. Well, I finished Bridgerton last night, by the way, so I feel very British today. Uh, you guys can see me okay? I'll go this way. I set the camera up funny. Oh, what's weird is, the moment I finish this workout, I have to do my workout. So I am, uh, I'm thinking if I keep some kind of thinking, it's overrated. There are just some of the things I learned. Try everything. Play hard. Don't hate people. Carry heavy things around them. Put them back where you found them. Power clean. Don't take credit for things that aren't yours. Internet. Take the time to help somebody. Nothing feels as good as a nice snatch. Floss. Red meat and salad are good for you. Live a balanced life. Work some and play some and rest some and pray some every day. Move your butt every day. When you get under the bar, weight on heels, big chest, squat between your legs. Be aware of the mission. Remember the body is one piece. Snatch, overhead squat, clean and press. Use all the pieces of the body. We are built like that. And then remember that old guy, Dick, and the first lift you need, the biggest lift of all, squat. Everything you need to know about is out there somewhere. The two rules, kiss, keep it simple, stupid. Eat a great breakfast, one lift a day, little and often over the long haul, and pu push the floor away. 
think of what a better world it would be if if we all, the whole world, had meat and eggs about 8 o'clock every morning and overhead squatted and then sprinted away. Or we had a basic policy in our gym and in other gyms to always carry heavy things around and then put them back where you found them and power clean. And it is still true, no matter how old you are, when you get to the MILF, it's best to go heavy, go hard, and go home. Uh, I just think that's lovely. I mean, I know it's corny it's, you know, and all that. And it's self-serving for me to talk about it, but it's pretty cool. I'm hurting today. So uh, for the challenge, I'm giving up drinking alcohol, and uh, you know, which is good. I mean, you know, not not the whole for the rest of life, but during the challenge, and. Uh, I'm going to try to eat, uh, you know, I always eat vegetables every meal, but I'm a lot more psycho about it. Of course, if you know me, <laughs> that's my psycho level. <laughs> All right, we're at 315, and I'm sure we'll get done soon. So one of the rules of the gym is that if you, it's free, but you have to leave something. So Australian Weightlifting Federation, Galway Football Club, a fundraiser that we did, uh, Ulster. Uh, over here is just kind of a cool thing for my friend Paul, Paul Dunn. Paul Dunn, County Clare, say hi to him. That's kind of a cool thing. And this is from the Winter Olympics Day 6. These are all the pins I got that day. Yeah, you're supposed to collect pins, so we did. You know, I don't, what do I know? Uh, flashlights for emergency. Whew. Oh. So, you know, the 10,000 swing challenge is a study in inefficient exercise. You know, so I'll be in here nearly an hour every day just doing the 500 swings. You know, a lot of people online race to the finish line. And I, I, uh, I guess I would have done that in my 50s or 40s. But at 63, what I'm trying to do is get my heart rate to skyrocket, come down, skyrocket, come down. And uh, I'm changing the reps around so I have a weird fluctuation. Uh, I first learned this. I think I mentioned this before, 1984 at the Olympic Training Center, they taught us a thing called RIT, R-I-T-E, Rhythmatic Interval, Rhythmatic Interval Training Exercises. Stay away from steady and look for variation and variability. By the way, this is one of the best ways I know. Do a set of five, do a set of 25, do a set of 15, do a set of 20, and just keep playing with the reps, keep playing with the rest periods, and your job is to just get you know, just keep trying to feel better and better. Uh, some of my training partners are showing up, so I'm going to have to bulk. I want the book on this.
Good morning, Seth. Good morning, Dan. You're on YouTube. Hi, YouTube. You seem cold. I am cold. Everybody, Seth? Seth, everybody? Hi. I have 125 to go. Okay. Let's continue the tour. This is Seth. Say hi, Seth. Hello. So, uh, some of the stuff comes uh, near police department. This comes from a friend. I think that's funny. These are two cards sent my life, my wife. This is when I was trying to overcome pleurisy. These are both just Irish blessings. Uh, here's the flag that they recruited the Irish when they got off the boats to fight on both sides of the Civil War. Uh, which I still think is one of the great sins of history. Uh, this is my, a good friend of mine told me that one time. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was the Game of Thrones. I tell you, that was one of the greatest shows for about three seasons in history. And then, ugh, So at 9 30 every day yep people from all around the world come to my house and train with me some days it's really really good and some days we all find excuses to not train hard and you know that's okay too uh, so as i'm setting this up I, i'm down to four trx's uh 26 kettlebells three olympic bars Bunch of farmer bars and carrying stuff. Uh, I'm gonna try to crush this, the finish of this workout, so I can work on a set. Mike Brown will be here in a minute. Uh, Mike doesn't be like me on camera. He's uh, so I have to keep. I have to be done when he gets here. Okay. I have a bell in the car. I'm gonna grab it. Ah, uh, sure. I just want it. Right? No, okay. <laughs> we might be okay. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to record all five, uh, 10,000 swings, and uh, if you find value in it, great. If you don't, just shut up. You know? <laughs> I got some negative comments on YouTube. I just, it's just like oh, I was telling the audience earlier. You know, this guy comes in and goes, "Everybody does this." He didn't listen to what I was saying. I was talking about bent presses. He, he thought I was talking about Turkish getters. It's like you know, that's not my fault. That's not my fault. Your, your lack of ability to listen is not on me. It's like kids who say that, you guys never taught me this in school. Yes, we did. You weren't listening. <laughs> That's one of my uh, former students who's now a teacher, the signs on the wall. Uh, isn't that great? Sirius is not happy about being out here. <laughs> it's cold. He's like snuggling up. That's it's cold, great. folks. All right, I've got 15 minutes to 100 swings. What do you think? Can I do that? I think you can do it. I think it's cool.
So, remember, for heart rate variability, it's probably good to have a, a jazz approach to your reps and your rest periods. Sometimes go fairly quickly between sets, sometimes take longer, sometimes do 30, sometimes do 10, I think. Don't just get stuck in racing the clock. Which, by the way, racing the clock is a great workout. Uh, even in listening to my things, I've been complaining about sweating. This morning, it's not such an issue. Though, weirdly, I am moistening up a bit. Moist. My favorite episode ever of How I Met Your Mother. Moist. Moist. <laughs> That's where Barney says moist 45 minutes. Like I said, staccato, jazzy. Revelation 3.15 You are neither hot nor cold. You are lukewarm and I shall spit you out. Somehow my hot coffee in the hour isn't hot anymore. Hmm, I, I didn't go to Indiana or anything. I wonder. So, we'll finish the tour tomorrow. And then, uh, uh, and by the way, uh, generally I'll be on Instagram live, but I made a tactical error last night because I needed to keep my phone near my bed and I didn't recharge it, so whoops. <laughs> uh, here's my neighbor. He's going to warm up his truck for the next 35 minutes. So the smell of diesel is going to come into my gym and make it hard. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Final set, we'll call it a day. Yeehaw! Yeah. And then now I get to work out. And then we'll eat. Uh, again, if you have questions, best place to ask podcast at danjohnuniversity.com. By the way, if you join the university this week, uh, we have a special for 29 bucks, and you'll see it in the, you know, in the show notes below my visage. Oh, 20 more reps, breathing diesel. Wish me luck. Uh, thanks. Yeah, I am sweating now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm in the, when I'm in here, I'll wear gloves just for the cold, and I'll wear pants because, you know, it's cold. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning this already. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a stop. Hey, uh, can you pull off one of the uh, chairs for a moment?
500. 2,000 down. How many does that to go? <laughs> How many lists? 8,000 to go. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you.